get to the airport, load up the fish, and then we have a manifest that show us what lakes to go to. The GPSs are loaded. The hatchery is a big part of it. We're kind of the final step in the process of getting those fish out there. There's a lot of time spent growing those fish, you know, planning all this by a lot of people involved. And this is just kind of the final phase, getting them out there for the sportsmen, so. Today in several hours, we, we stocked almost 50 lakes. You know, I think we probably put out about 40,000 fish, you know, in a matter of a couple hours, so. But we're about 100 feet above the lake, and as we're coming across, as they dump, they almost stop immediately once they c come out of the airplane. And um, they're very tiny. I think the fish were about one inch size today. So their heads are heavier. They tend to elongate vertically and drop with the water and then they um, just go into the lake. And the survival rates, they did studies years ago, survival rates are up in the 90 percentiles. Um, they just have no, very little mass to them. So they're kind of just floating down into the water. We just go to the individual lakes and evaluate them when we get there for how we approach them, how we dump, how our, our outs look, uh, what the weather's doing, what the winds are doing, you know, what the water like. Is it, we had a couple lakes this afternoon that were dry up on the Grand Mesa that this year they just didn't get, have water. So we just moved those fish to another lake. It's one of my favorite parts of the job. It's really pretty, quite fun. You know, hopefully they can they can access these high mountain lakes. And we quite often we see, even during the week, we see quite a few people out there enjoying them. <laughs>